Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.1.2 to the public. This is mainly to fix a couple of issues with iPhone 10 and came in at 45.4 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. You can see this is 15B202. And this was a pretty quick fix. And basically, as this one states, it fixes an issue when the iPhone X screen or iPhone 10 screen becomes temporarily unresponsive to touch after a rapid temperature drop. A lot of people were complaining that it was completely unresponsive when it was cold out. I'm not in an area that seems to be cold enough to have this affecting it, but right now it's working okay for those, supposedly it's working okay for those that are in colder areas. It also addresses is an issue that could cause distortion with live photos and videos captured with the iPhone 10. So mostly this update is just for iPhone 10 and addresses those issues. I know a lot of people are concerned about issues with battery life on 11.1.1 and people have been mentioning that, but they make no mention as far as any battery concerns or anything to do with other iPhones. There's probably some security updates in here. Uh, if we go back here, you'll see you can see a little bit security updates or about support and we go to that website and there's nothing there. It doesn't really say anything about any specific security fixes. It's basically just the cold weather fix and the live photos fix for the iPhone 10 and nothing else. So there's not a whole lot going on there. I did do a geek bench on this one, just like I do on all of the other updates and took a screenshot of them. This one is 11.1.2 on iPhone 10. You can see 4,201 and 10,263 on the previous version, 11.1.1. Uh, they're comparable, very close, a little bit better multi-core score, a little bit worse single core score. So everything seems to be fast, fluid, and no issues as far as that goes. 3D touch is working fine. There's no improvements in the control center. Nothing really throughout the OS that I can find anything different. There might be some really minor changes, tweaks to the UI, but really uh, it's just live photos and the cold touch issue. So that's it for this update. If you've found anything else though, let us know in the comments below. Thanks to Cameron and Connor for sending this wallpaper along. I'll link it in the description below and keep those coming to Twitter or through email. That's probably the best way to get the highest resolution wallpapers. If I use yours, I'll give you a shout out. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.